Now then, pre Grimsby at home. All right, five games to go. I suppose what the players have just got to do is sort of relax and play the normal game, isn't it? Yeah, I think we're all looking forward to the to the game. Obviously, it's going to be a cracking atmosphere. Um, but we know that the, what we need to do in the, the three points is massive for us. Your home form of late, though, has been very good. Obviously, a step up in terms of opposition and class. But how much can you sort of take from the last two home games? Uh, yeah, obviously, the last two games, home games, have been very positive. Um, we know that we need to up our standards a little bit. We wasn't. We, we, we've done a lot of work on what didn't go so well in the last game um, and we need to make a, an improvement um, and yeah, everyone's looking forward to the game. Is it just a case of getting back to what you were doing in that long unbeaten run? It's not sort of anything new, it's just sort of getting back to the, the good things that you've been doing most of the season? Uh, yeah, um, but at the same time we're, we're two points clear at the top of the table and um, we all know what the objective is, so um, it's about everybody going out and, and believing in what we're doing, um, sticking to our philosophies and um, going out there, rolling your sleeves up and doing the best for Cheltenham Football Club. Well, you've, you've also got to enjoy this, haven't you? I mean, Friday night, under lights, first versus third, these are the sort of games that you're in football for, aren't they? Yeah, most definitely. Um, <clears throat> me personally and some of the boys, we always talk about, you know, there's the majorities of the seasons where it's getting to this sort of time and there's nothing to play for. Um, and it's always in your back of your mind, like you, you look up the table and you're always envious of the people up there. And, you know, this season we're, we're up there um, through merit. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it, it's a time to enjoy ourselves. It's not a time to... You know, be be worrying too much about what ifs. Enjoy yourself, see where it takes. Give you give you hundred percent, and and what will be will be. It's written. And of course, Grimsby, one of your former clubs, so sort of plenty incentive for you. Yeah, um, obviously, I was there for a month, and uh, I thought they were very unlucky last year. Um, I thought, me personally, they were one of the better teams last year, if not the best team for me. Um, at the start of the season, they were going to—they were my team to look out for, um, as such. But um, yeah, they're—they're they're a good team. They're strong all over. Um, I know a lot about them, um, and yeah, they're not no marks, that's for sure. When Craig Disley in the centre of the park for them just makes them tick. How difficult an opponent is he? Yeah, he, he likes to get forward. Um, he's obviously a, a, an experienced head um, captain. He's a very good captain as well. Um, Great professional, great character. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm sure that we'll be looking to do a job on him. As you did up at Grimsby. Yeah, most definitely. Um, obviously, that was a, that was a great that was a great performance up there. We got the job done, and it'll be hope. That's what we're hoping for on uh, come Friday night. How happy have you been with your form since you got back into the team after your injury? Because you know you were out for could have been six weeks. You were back very quickly. Yeah, I got back as, as soon as I can um, to make myself available. Um, and obviously there's been two starts, one one very good performance and then one not so good performance. So um, that's me personally. Um, I think that's obviously the team as well um, in the last two games. But yeah, we at this stage of the season, it's obviously we all know it's about results um, and it's about rolling your sleeves up and, and, and getting back to winning ways. and. Um, it was very disappointing against Wrexham that we lost the game in, in, in the manner of what we what we done it. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's, the most important thing is is results right now. So yeah, I suppose the end of the season so close, you can only look forward. You can't sort of look back too long, can you? Well, no. But you look back, and, and when I look back over the course, it, it puts a smile on my face. So whatever it takes, players wise, fan wise, whatever. It, takes to get you up for the game motivated to, to do whatever job I know we've come out and we've said that we need the support and it's, it's been a good season we've got we've got to roll our sleeves up and, and try and finish the job off so it, it's, it's, it's an enjoyable place it's, it's, this is where we all wanted to be so there should be smiles on faces good man thank you good luck Jeff has just been saying relax trust what you've been doing all season yeah, how easy it? is that to do at this stage of the season um as a player wise I, I think that it's quite easy because obviously like I said we need to stick to the philosophy that's, that, that's got us here we've, we're not here through luck 
I've, I've said that before, we're here, we're here because we deserve to be here and we just need to carry on doing what we're doing and keeping our professionalism um, and just doing, like I said, what's, what's best for Cheltenham Football Club and individually that, that it, will, it will be good for us. So, How important is it to, to look at the Boreham Wood game as well as the Wrexham game this week? Because you probably didn't have enough time to sort of go over the Boreham Wood game before you had the Wrexham game on you and you don't want to really look at the Wrexham game too much because it yeah, cause bits didn't go right. We've looked at the Wrexham game. <laughs> we've looked at the Wrexham game. Um, and obviously, Boreham Wood, we we done very well. Um, but like you said, the thing that got us that run and the thing that, and, and the things that we done was, was our consistency. So I think that over the course of the last five games, we need to get back to that. Um, we need to get back to being ruthless and rolling our sleeves up and doing the job for, uh, the job for the team. So we need to get back to that come Friday night. It's a good chance to put some pressure on, isn't it? A win on Friday night, you're five points clear ahead of Forest Green. Who play Wrexham on Saturday, and that's going to be huge pressure for them. Yeah, but I can assure you, all the boys ain't thinking about that Forest Green game. Um, it's what we do right now, and what we need to do is prepare ourselves in every way possible to give us every chance to go into that game and win it. And finally, more importantly, sporting the beard now as well. That's the is that the the, the newest new look for Harry? Yeah, Thomas, a little go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, Looking wiser. Yeah, I think James Dayton looks quite good, so I thought I'll give it a go. <laughs> Excellent. Cheers.